Our big story today, a major and promising development on the vaccine front. U.S. regulators say Johnson & Johnson's vaccine is safe to use and offers strong protection against severe cases of COVID-19. It only requires a single shot and it can be stored in regular refrigerators. FDA advisors are scheduled to meet on Friday and could pass a vote of confidence, which is a crucial step to getting official approval for emergency use authorization. Now, just like Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson is turning to West Michigan to have its vaccine produced. News 8's Joe LaFergi has been following the story for months now and joins us live from home to talk about it. And Joe, walk me through the role that Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing is now playing in this. Well, it's a huge role, Lindsay. Uh, come to find out that, uh, you know, Pfizer, we saw last Friday when the president's there, they, they developed their product right on site and, and fill it on site. Not all of these companies do that for not every project. So Johnson & Johnson, instead of uh, investing in the equipment they would need and that sort of thing, uh, they, along with uh, the Department of Health and Human Services, kind of combined together and uh, about a year and a half ago put out bids for companies that could do what they call the uh, fill and finish uh, end of, of the uh, vaccination. Uh, Grand River Aseptics Manufacturing doesn't uh, develop the vaccine. They take what uh, take what Johnson & Johnson has developed. They bring it into the plant here in Grand Rapids. They mix everything together, the, the ingredients, and then they uh, fill the vials at the end. They do that work. You have to have some uh, pretty, pretty strong credentials to be able to do this. Uh, Health and Human Services saw those credentials and decided to uh, order them uh, or decided to award those that contract to Grand River uh, Septics last year. That was last August. Uh, and since October, they have been obviously re have refined the product. Everything they do, every step they take is reviewed by uh, the F Food and Drug Administration. And they, essentially, they take that product, uh, mix it all together and put it into vials. And, and again, while that may sound pretty simple, it's, it's extremely advanced. You have to meet certain criteria, you have to have certain technology. Uh, this local company has that and they're putting a little hope into, into people's arms now. Yeah, certainly. Now we also know because there's so much that goes into this, we weren't necessarily able to get all of the information that we would have loved to learn today while you're on that story and getting that inside look at their facility. How is security playing a role even though they're taking on this large role for Johnson & Johnson? Well, obviously security, a major concern when it comes to something as important as this vaccine, uh, things like, they, they wouldn't talk about things like how many vials they filled so far, uh, where it goes after the filling process, what happens to it, those sorts of things are, are kept confidential uh, just as part of that security measure. But you know, interesting story behind uh, Grand River Aseptics uh, manufacturing, it was just a couple years ago. They started in 2010, and a couple years ago, they saw this idea that maybe they should expand and get into some of this more advanced uh, fill and finish product. They saw a need for that down the road, a good growth strategy for a business. Uh, so they invested uh, millions and millions of dollars into expanding their facility on the west side. And lo and behold, two years later, the pandemic hits. At that point, and that's what the government looked at too, they were in a good position. They had the advanced technology, they had the room, the capacity, they had the people to do this job. Uh, the rest is history, history in the making. Yeah, certainly. Joe LaFergi, we know you will stay on top of that. Thank you for that live update for us. Here's a look at our statewide vaccination progress tonight. Of the more than 2.6 million doses distributed, nearly 2 million are now in arms. That does include more than 700,000 Michiganders who have received both shots.